Hi, my name is Brianna Snyder and I'm the Associate Editor for the Times Union Magazine Division. Today we're going to talk about how to use Pinterest to inspire your home decor. So here we have the Pinterest home feed, which basically shows me all of the pins of the people I follow. So none of them are organized, there are no real order, it's just sort of like Facebook filtered by the last, thing, last time something was pinned. So let me take you to our homepage, the Times Union Magazine's homepage. If I click on it here, this brings me to all of the boards we have on our page. Um, we've broken it down by magazine and sometimes by category, cleaning and countertops and 30 minute meals, gardening. So today let's say that we are looking for bathroom ideas. We're going to redo our bathroom. We kind of know we want it to look different, but we don't know what, it to look, what we want it to look like. Let's create a new board so that we can pin to it. We'll call it Bathroom Ideas. And the description. Pinterest does have an option to make your board secret. Why would you want to do that? Maybe you just don't want other people to know what you're looking at. You just make the board secret, and it's yours and yours alone. Um, but because we're a magazine, I'm going to keep ours public. I want people to find us. Um, and I'm going to put this in home decor so that anybody searching for home decor ideas might find our board. I save. We've got our board. I'm going to come back to the Pinterest homepage. I could go through all of these pins and just hope I stumble on a bathroom one, but that might be a waste of my time. I'm not going to really find what I'm looking for, not in the way that I could if I search, if I search for bathrooms. Now I see every single pin in Pinterest that's tagged with the word bathroom, which in most cases is going to show us pictures of bathrooms, uh, maybe little details in bathrooms, the sink for instance, um, or broader pictures of the whole thing. And as I scroll through, they basically keep coming. There's um, this little thing called infinite scroll, which means that you never really hit the bottom. It just keeps loading. So let's take a look at what we like. Um, so this is one of the things about Pinterest is um, you get something like this, which is really, really nice, but maybe not realistic. But at the same time, there's some aesthetic things about it that maybe you think are interesting. Uh, so let's pin it. Why don't we just pin it? Here I can drop down through all of my boards and select the one I need and pin it. And this just shows me where else this has been pinned, which is useful if you're looking for other boards, someone else's board, also called Bathroom Ideas. And eventually this is what your board can look like. Um, as you scroll through here you might find other things you like. And that's really interesting the way that this sort of curves in this way, and the stone is really nice, so let's pin this too. And here, let's say you don't want this to be your description. Um, my next bathroom in my dreams. And then it keeps going like that. And you X out of here, and you keep going. Okay, so let's say that you're a little bit tired of what you're seeing on Pinterest, because you will see duplicates sometimes, or let's say you're just not seeing what you're looking for, but you've seen a bunch of things on other blogs you follow. Um, let me open up one of the blogs we really like, Design Milk. So we're on our blog, we're on Design Milk, and we're going to find a photo that we want to put into Pinterest. I'm going to search for bathroom ideas here. This is interesting, bathroom collection. Okay, well there are a couple of ways I can pin. The first way is to go back into Pinterest, drop down here on my menu, and add pin. I'll have the option now to upload from my desktop. If, say, you've taken a picture of a friend's bathroom and saved it to your computer, this would be the time to do that. But we're not doing that. We are taking a photo from this other blog. Copied this URL, hitting Command-C on my MacBook. I believe it's control C on a PC and I'm gonna paste command V and find images. Now here I've got every single image on this one page which is really really convenient. Um, 
let's pick one. And this is a sort of ridiculous idea, but let's do it. I can create the pin. I'm going to put it in bathroom ideas. Wacky. Let's not do ellipses. I hate that. Pin it. And there you go. Now to add a pin it button, you kind of have to do a couple of things here. I'm going to go to about.pinterest.com slash goodies. And it'll bring me to this place where I can install the pin it button on whichever browser I'm using. I'm using Chrome. So when I click install now, the pin it button, it's going to bring me to Google Play to add the app to the browser. So that'll be a little bit different depending on what you're using. If you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer or Safari, it'll be a little bit different. But once you click add, it should take care of the rest for you. This is what that looks like. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, I've come back to our homepage here, our, our profile page, where you can see everything we've done. Bathroom ideas with everything we pinned. And you keep adding and adding from there. And I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks for listening.